In this video, we are going to have a discussion about texturing and material creation programs. More specifically, we are going to compare Blender 3D with Substance Painter. So, first, the process of material creation is a bit different from each program. The shader nodes and the baking system within Blender is more complex from what Substance offers especially from a beginner point of view. Even for professional artists, Blender appears to be time consuming, like sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to do something in Blender that Substance can do within few clicks. For example, baking high poly models into low poly models, which is a really common process in creating game characters, assets and other professional models. Now, in Substance Painter, you just have to import the high poly and the low poly mesh into it and then you press bake and it will generate the different texture maps that you need all at once. On the other hand, with Blender, you have to create a node group for the textures yourself and then you have to bake the texture maps one by one. It is worth mentioning that some Blender add-ons can make the process easier but most of them are paid ones and they don't make the process as easy as Substance Painter does. Also, Substance Painter has a great texture upscaling tool which is the tool that you use to change the scale of your textures from 512 to 2k for example. And from my personal research, I think Blender lacks this feature. Substance also has a lot of built-in textures that you can use just by dragging and dropping them into your model. It also has a smart materials and smart masks which is the tool that makes it stand out in my opinion. With this tool you can have mesh specific details that are automatically adapted to your mesh. For example, adding rust to a metallic object it will find the edges and the places that are most likely going to be rusty and add the material there. And the other flat surfaces, they're going to have just a little bit of rust. Also, Substance UV Auto Unwrapping feature in most cases gives a better UV map when compared to Blender Smart UV Projection. Now, I just want to mention that all the stuff that you can do in Substance Painter, you can also do with Blender. It might take some more time and effort, but it's always achievable. For the pricing, Blender is a free open source program, while Substance Painter costs around $20 per month for indie license, which means that your yearly income must be under $100,000. There is also a student license that lasts for 3 years, but you have to prove that you are a student and you must refresh this license every year. Now I want to thank you for watching this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, good luck learning.